Well, hello everybody. This is Tim from Etsypreneur.com, and uh, I've got a. I'm going to make a video today for you here, showing an uh, awesome new app uh, for Etsy sellers uh, to help you with your email marketing. Um, it's called Craft Monkey, and it integrates with an email marketing platform called Mailchimp. And um, we've used Mailchimp in the past, and and it's great. Before I before I get further into the video, um, you know, being the kind of person I am that has to tell everybody everything about what I'm thinking. Um, I, I just want to let you know that I, I think I'm going to go, I'm not going to try and go too fast. You know, I, I uh, just like many of you, kind of learn as I go with the internet. And one of the first things that we learned way back when having, uh, when doing videos, uh, we were told that you should keep them very short, a minute, two minutes. Well, you know that I have I, ha I can barely say my name in a minute, <laughs> so you know I've always had a very hard time with that. And um, you know what I found though, as as we've moved forward through our career online and grown, is that you can you don't have to always do what you know the gurus teach you to do. Um, and that includes what I tell you. You know I mean it, it, uh, although you know I would give my personal advice a little bit extra weight if I were you. But um, you know, you don't have to always do what you're told. You you, you do what works, and and we found that many of the people who watch our videos, videos like this one, um, are trying to learn, and you know sometimes learning can't really be rushed. So I'm going to go at my normal speed. I'm going to do this thing live. I've already done it once just to see how it works. But I'm going to create a whole new account. I'm going to go through the whole process that you'll have to go through if you want to use this awesome new app to send out some marketing emails for your Etsy shop and I think you should definitely do that as soon as you have an email list of 20 or 30 people uh, even 10 you know but once you once you get a decent sized list you know, 30 40 50 people I'd start doing this and um, you know you'll get some people that will unsubscribe from your list it happens to me all the time I had somebody unsubscribe five minutes ago and you know we've got I think a total of 11 or 12 thousand people across various mailing lists and it still hurts my feelings when somebody unsubscribes. <laughs> so you know, I don't, I don't think that ever goes away. Um, but you know, you do start to learn after a while that the people that do unsubscribe, you know, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna uh, do what you want them to do anyway. What I want people to do is tell other people about my daily tips email and, and sign up for that. Um, we want people to, uh, to you know, if they're gonna buy something like hosting. Um, to buy it from our uh, resources page on Everything Etsy. I'll show you that because that's where I'm going to put the links. Uh, this is EverythingEtsy.com, by the way, which is, you know, part of, we're Etsypreneurs, part of Everything Etsy. Um, so we've got this resources page. And, you know, it's got, uh, it's got you know, a bunch of stuff that we use. And some of these things are things that we, we can get an affiliate uh, commission on, which is kind of how we pay the bills because we don't really charge for anything. So, um, you know, if you're going to buy hosting for your website, we hope you come here and buy it. If you're going to buy a Genesis theme um, for your WordPress site, which is something we recommend highly, um, that's what uh, Etsypreneur is built on. Um, everything Etsy was built before they came out with Genesis. Um, then, you know, we hope you come here and buy it. Um, the Shop Marketing Helper app is a great app, and, and uh, we've got an advertising deal with them. So, um, you know, these are the ways that we can make things work. And, uh, so that's what we want, but and, and we start to realize uh, you'll start to realize over time that when people unsubscribe from your list, um, you know they, they weren't gonna they probably weren't gonna buy from you anyway. So don't worry about it. Um, so let me go through this process and, and we'll just uh, we'll teach you uh, how to do this. This is the Craft Monkey app, and uh, but again before I start, it's not here yet. But as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna put a link down at the bottom of the resources page. That's everythingetsy.com slash resources to MailChimp. Um, we don't make any money from the MailChimp app. Uh, they, don't, they don't pay anything, but they will give you and us a $30 credit towards fees. Now, for most Etsy sellers, MailChimp is great because up to 2,000 people are free. You don't have to pay anything at all for up to 2,000 people on your list. Now, once you get into the higher numbers, they're not any less expensive than the other providers. And so, you know, for a high, for a larger list that you're paying for, I'm not sure they're who I'd really recommend. Although I I haven't been in there for a while, and I was just in there, and it looked like the software had had some improvements and seemed pretty good. 
Um, and if you can, you know, recommend other people to use it, they have this thing called Monkey Rewards, um, which if, you know, somebody signs up uh, through the link that I'm going to have here on the resources page and in the blog post with this video, then, you know, they'll get, we'll get $30 worth of Monkey Rewards. And so will whoever signs up. So, you know, that can add up, and, and we might start using MailChimp for some of our emails because our list, uh, it, it's pretty expensive to host as many email names as we have. So, um, you know, that that's, would be helpful if we could get enough to actually do something with. But um, anyway, without further ado, let me show you. See, I told you I couldn't say my name in a minute. Um, without further ado, let me show you um, this new app. It's called Craft Monkey. Um, and it works with MailChimp. The first thing you're going to do is go to MailChimp and set up an account. So sign up for free right here. And I'm going to um, use uh, one. I, I already have an account, so I'm going to use, no, I'm not going to use Kim. I'm going to use Tim. Tim at Everything Etsy. Okay. And uh, so I guess I have to pick a username. Maybe I'll use my email if that'll work. Okay. And then I have to pick a password. I'm assuming for video purposes that this is going to uh, just show a bunch of big black dots. Okay. So create your account. Did it move on me? Yep, it moved. Create my account. Okay, so now it's going to send me an activation email. I'm, I will pause the video for this part while I go and, uh, and click on the link in my email to activate the account. Okay, so I, I clicked on the activation email. Uh, and uh, was taken to this funny thing. I'm pretty sure that that is Q U O N H A N B. I think I have it right, whatever that means. Okay, so now. Um, Let's see. Okay, so there we go. We're logged in. We've got to, you know, you got to create your security question and all that stuff. Um, you know, enter your information. Now, when you enter your information down here, um, you know, you're going to want to um, think about this email showing up. I mean, this address showing up at the bottom of your emails. Um, you know, for a long time we used our, you know, home address, um, but, you know, after a while we start getting too big, we switch to a P.O. box. Um, you know, I don't know. The, uh, not, like, not like anybody's that hard to find in this world if, they, if somebody really wants to find you. But, you know, if you don't want your home address at the bottom of the email, you might want to put a different address here. Now, there, you can change address uh, campaign by campaign, but the easiest thing to do is just put right here what you want at the bottom of your emails. It has to have, you have to have something, it's the law. So that's what you'll do here. Um, and then, uh, you know, name, you know, your organization, you can just put yourself or you don't have to put anything, it's not required. Um, you can put the name of your Etsy shop or if you have a business, that would be what that is. And you know, obviously you, you, got, you can figure out everything you need to do to get this done. And it looks like there's even a 10 part series, um, you know, to help you get experienced at it, so that might be worth doing. Um, so I'm going to pause it while I fill out some of these things real quick for this uh, new account. Okay, so I've finished uh, filling out all that stuff, and one thing I did notice as I was doing it was, um, you know, they, they say that they're going to take your colors and information from your website, so, you know, whatever site or shop or whatever you plan on mailing from most often, you can use it. Now you can customize that, and since you're going to use the uh, you're going to use the Craft Monkey app. This really doesn't matter because Craft Monkey has sets the whole thing up for you, and it looks great. It looks a lot like an Etsy shop. So you're going to see all that in a minute. The um, so I'm just going to save and get started. Um, so you know, and there's just more intro stuff. Um, 
So I'm just going to, I know all this stuff, so I'm just going to say let's go. Okay, so here we go. So this is the first page. So we don't really have to, well, I guess we better create a list because there's no list in, in uh, the Craft Monkey app is going to want to get one. So we're going to create a list. I'm just going to call it test list and um, make it from me um, and to Tim at everything Etsy. Um, you know, I'm just doing all just test stuff here. The uh, okay, so you know, you'll put um, you know whatever you want there. Obviously, and here's the address. And like I said, you can change this for each list. Um, you can decide whether you want to be emailed when people subscribe or unsubscribe. You know. The problem with being emailed when people unsubscribe is it can ruin your dinner. Um, you know, you can be in the middle of having a, a decent uh, evening or day, and and your phone will start you know flashing somebody unsubscribed, and, and you're like, man, why'd they do that? <laughs> so, you know, if you got a thick skin, check it so that you know when people are unsubscribing. I keep it checked because I want to know when things I've done have you know not been popular, and I've got more than a normal amount of unsubscribes. Um, you know, so that's your choice. Um, and I would usually not check uh, this button because you don't really want people to pick plain text because you want most of your uh, emails to be in HTML. So there we go. Save. And so that's it. So that's really it on the MailChimp side for now, although actually not true. We need to add contacts. Um, so you can import contacts. Um, you know, there's a few ways you can import contacts. You can do that uh, if you've got a list of people. You can uh, use a CSV file, which you can you can uh, copy and paste email from Excel. So you can just write an Excel spreadsheet with three columns: you know, first name, last name, and email. All you're required to have is just email, just the email address. You don't have to have names. Names are helpful if you want to try and personalize your emails. Um, I found that to be kind of dangerous because sometimes, you know, you'll say uh, somebody won't put in their name in the name field. You know, they'll put, you know, like they might for Crazy Tree Media, I might put Crazy Tree in the first name and Media in the second name, and then you know you'll get a, you know, an email later that says Hi, Mr. Media. You know, and um, whatever. I know what's happening when I get that. It doesn't really bother me. But I've I've moved away from using. Uh, the names in emails. Some people say that you get much better open rates if you use a name. Um, so if you want to use names in your emails, then that needs to be part of your list. You'll need a, a list that says first name, last name, you know, separate columns, and then a column for email. And then you can put whatever else you want to, you know, whatever, you, you can have custom fields. So you'll learn some of that if you sign up for that email, uh, that MailChimp, you know, boot camp thing. Um, so, you know, you can import them or you can import them one at a time. If you've only got a few, you know, that might be easy enough. That's what I'm going to do right now just for um, demonstration purposes. So, so yeah, I gave myself permission to add myself. Subscribe. And so then I'm going to add another one to it. It actually goes and pulls the Gravatar um, from my email address. And so it has a picture. And um, I, I have to learn, this is some of the one I was talking about, MailChimp had some new stuff. It's got all this social data, which you know, I don't know, maybe because I don't use this crazy tree media for uh, this particular email for my social accounts. That's probably why it's not pulling in any stuff here. Um, but I... I Imagine that for many of your subscribers, it will, you know, tell you a lot about them, which is nice to know. You know, you know who, who people are, maybe where they're at, what their Facebook or Twitter links are, and that kind of thing. So, um, I think having a picture is good, so you can you can kind of, uh, you know, get a better idea of who you're sending an email to. Um, so, anyway, um, I'm going to add another subscriber just so that I send out to. Um, So 
you know, I don't have a Gravatar associated with that email address, so no picture. So but that's how easy it is to add people. Now, once you've added however many people you want to add, and you've set up your account, now you're done with MailChimp. So you go then uh, to the CraftMonkey app, which I'll also link to from those pages. Um, but it's uh, CraftMonkeyApp.com, um, and and you basically just you create an account. This is very simple. So you sign in with your Mailchimp account. Oops, got to say yes to the terms and conditions. Um, sign in with your Mailchimp account, and um, I've almost already forgotten my new one here. What is it? Let's see. And then it'll connect. And then you pick an Etsy shop. Um, and I already have Kim's uh, Kimberly Layton shop connected to my other account. Let's see if it'll connect it anyway. Yep, it did. It, it's, uh, I figure I figured it would because I don't think that you know anybody's going to go out and just start sending out emails on behalf of someone else. Although, you know, I don't know if that could be a problem or not. But um, so you're going to create a newsletter. Watch how awesome this is. So you, you're going to now pick um, a couple, you know, you've got these options of what you want your email to look like. And, um, you know, I kind of like this one over here. Um, that's the only one I've tried so far. I think I'm going to show you that one, though, because it, it you know, I think if you've got multiple items, that's good to show a few of them in your email. So you click on that and watch what it does. Look at that. It pulls in the header from the store. Um, so that's going to be your banner. Um, it pulls in, you know, your, your uh, shop title text, you know, as a big headline here. Um, and, it, and it goes ahead and automatically pulls in your shop announcement and everything there. And even, even, uh, Creates links out of website addresses which aren't actually linked in Etsy, um, and then it pulls in your first uh, three pictures or you know first pictures in a couple categories. I don't know how it picks, but then if you want to pick a different picture, say I want to put a different pattern over here, um, all I have to do is come up here to downloadable patterns and go down and pick this you know flower and just drag this picture over here, and now it changed all this stuff here underneath. And you know it's just so easy to just click on these things and say, okay, no, this is not a nine by twelve sheet. This is a nine by sixteen sheet, you know, uh, or whatever. Just you know, you can click on it. And I, um, I don't know if there's, uh, I don't think there's any way to like make bold and additional links. Um, but I don't know if there, you know, I haven't, I haven't got into this enough to know if there's a way to see the HTML. Um, but there's links at the bottom of these that'll go straight to. Um, uh, well, no, those are links actually that she put in the description. Otherwise, you click on the item up here, and it goes to the item on Etsy. So, I'm, you know what I assume if I just go in here and I just put in a, a link, like, hmm, no, it didn't do it. The... Um, I have a feeling that that would actually turn into a link if I sent it. So, anyway, um, you know, just creates this email that it's got your items in it already, and and it's good to go. And you say save, and you know, once you've done all your changes, you say save and continue. You know, you pick a, a name of a campaign. You know, not required, but it's easier to find later. So, you know. If you want to keep track of them that way, you can use, you know, month name or, you know, holiday or whatever, you know, whatever you're promoting at that time. Um, this is going to be the subject line of the email. So I'm just going to write email subject line for demonstration purposes. Um, you know, the from address, the from name, and then the from address. Um, you know, I only have the one list. If you have multiple lists, you know, you'd pick which one you want. Now, this is something I, I want to point out for you to be careful. And if the the uh, makers of the Craft Monkey app happen to see this, and uh, then you know, I would tell them that you know there ought to be a place right before you finally click send that you verify how many people you're sending to, so that you know you're on the right list. I, I when I did this with a test account earlier, 
I had two mailing lists in there, and one of them was a couple thousand people um, for remodeling guy, and um, the other one was just this test list with just two examples of meat. And I wasn't certain as I was pressing send that you know I had actually had the right one selected on this page, and so I actually backspace. I went back to look at it again just to make sure I didn't accidentally send all those people, you know, an email talking about wolf felt. So save and continue. And then, you know, you there you go. So right here it should say, you know, what list you're sending to and how many people are on it. Um, just to verify. So when I hit send campaign now, it's going to send. Are you sure? Okay. Now it's going. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to pause for a second, then I'm going to go to my email and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we are in my email, and you know you can see it is from Tim and Kim Layton. Um, the uh, the subject line uh, is email subject line, and here's here's what it looks like. And um, you know that was that simple. It was just so easy to create, and, and you know the address that I put in is down here, um, but it was just you know very very easy so using a method like this you could send out something to people who have purchased from your shop you know assuming you've got their permission that they want to be on your email list and, and um, you can invite them to be on your email list so um, you know that's that's basically the gist of it again the the links to get that because we'd love to get those uh, uh, monkey rewards um, are going to be at the bottom of the resources page here on everything Etsy, it'll be right under the Shop Marketing Helper. Which, if you haven't tried that, that is an awesome app for um, for marketing your Etsy shop and staying on top of it. The, the more uh, social media reach you have, uh, the more followers you have in various social media outlets, the more impact you'll see from that. Um, so, you know, I build that build that social media audience and then um, get that Shop Marketing Helper app because I mean, it just it, it can really, really, really change your uh, your sales. So, okay, um, that's it. I hope that wasn't too long. I know I, I know I took my time with it. Um, you know, let me know if you've watched it this far. I won't have my feelings hurt if you say you know you like shorter videos or you like longer videos because I could have said all this stuff a whole lot faster. I could have left out some details, paused a lot more, and you know just boom, 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 boom. But you know that might have uh, left some of you lost. So I don't want to do that either. Um, so thanks a lot for being at etsypreneur.com and everythingetsy.com and have a great day.